Hi, my name is Todd Blyleven. and I'm the CEO here at the Scout Hub. We've put together this college search page powered by Wikipedia to help you research and locate college campuses across the country that may be a good fit for you. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to not only use the college search page to locate and find schools, but to also find your sports page and then eventually find the college coach that you're going to send your new athlete resume to. We also have in the bottom of this page an email template that you can literally copy and paste into your emails. Just make sure that you're putting your name in there, your athlete resume link, uh, so that way you're showcasing your athlete resume to the coaches, and then your signature. We're trying to do everything we can to help you not only save money and time, but be as efficient and as professional as possible. This is like going out and getting a job in a real world. The recruiting business is in mass chaos right now. Because of all the transfer portal, COVID-19 and what that's brought, players becoming eligible again, and there's a backlog in the high school recruiting uh, field. So we wanna make sure that we're doing everything we can as parents helping our athletes out, which I am. I have got a son that's in the recruiting uh, field right now, being recruited, trying to get seen and noticed. So everything that we have built from our team is to not only help you save money, but to also help you find those schools, find the coaches, send these amazing athlete resumes off to, showcasing your skills, and hopefully helping you get recruited. Here's where we start. All right, so as we scroll down, what you're going to see is you'll see the email template uh, that I was referring to earlier. So if you scroll all the way down, here's your email template. Uh, you'll be able to just copy and paste this. Um, and then make sure that you're adding your, you know, your name here, uh, inserting your athlete resume link here, and then obviously your signature information. And you can literally just copy this. Uh, once you have this information, I suggest you know, copy it paste it into like your notes on your computer or a Word doc, and then go ahead and adjust it, put your name, add whatever information you want in here. Um, you know, you can add, remove things, whatever you want. This is just a template to help you out. And then once you have that, go ahead and save that. So then that way, when you go to find the college coaches, which I'm about to show you, uh, you can just copy and paste that all the way in. So basically what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and start with I, I'm going to search Division One, and I'm going to search in the state of Texas because that's where uh, we live, and that's where uh, my son wants to maybe go to school. So I'm going to go ahead and search uh, schools in Texas. So basically, I went to the state, and I'm just scrolling down the list here uh, looking for the state of Texas. And so once I find Texas, now I can go in and I can see all the schools uh, in the Division One space that my son would have an opportunity to maybe uh, send his athlete resume to. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to search Abilene Christian University. So what Wikipedia does a great job of is they basically give you a ton of information about the school before you even go in and start searching the website and find the coach and everything. So everything from history to uh, the campus, um, faculty, alumni, notable people. So you really get a sense of of what this college is all about. Now, in order to find the website for the school, you go over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, you'll see website, you go ahead and click on that here. And then this opens up the homepage to the school, which is awesome because you really get a chance to see the culture of the school, maybe what they're promoting, uh, what they get excited about as a school. You can learn more about the academics, the student life and whatnot. But for this purpose, we're gonna go and go to the menu bar, the search bar, find athletics, okay? Sometimes it's athletic department, athletic website, but find athletics. We're gonna click on that. A lot of times it opens up into new tabs. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure uh, now, boom. So we're on the athletic website. So now again, you get to see what other sports are played here and you know who's playing where. So if it's a local, you can maybe go to a volleyball game or a football game or a baseball game, whatever. But for this purpose right now, what we're going to do is we want to find teams in the menu. So here's teams. Now we're going to go down. I'm searching baseball right now. So, But you see there's all the other teams and all the rosters. So a quick search is 
I want to go baseball roster because I'm looking for the college coach for this purpose. And just to minimize my time and make it easy on me, I just want to find the coach. I want to get the email. I already like the school. I've already done my research. I know this is a school that I can afford that I want to go play at, say, for example. So now I want to get in touch with, touch with the coaching staff. So a lot of times when you open up the base, like the uh, athletic roster to that particular program, the coaches staff is usually on the bottom of every roster, but in most cases, they'll have a little link that says go to coaching staff. So when you go to the coaching staff, a lot of times your head coach will not be displaying the email. They won't just, they won't give up their email and I don't blame them because they get bombarded. That's why they have all these really cool employees and coaches that are under them that help them with the recruiting efforts. The assistant coach that's labeled first is generally the first assistant coach. And then you've got second and third and on. You, the first assistant coach and, and these other assistants are usually the recruiting coordinators, okay? And then they let the, the head coach know about the really high profile kids that they're really, really interested in. That's when the head coach gets involved with the recruiting. Some colleges, the head coach is the first recruiting coordinator most around the collegiate market, you're having your assistants do it. So these assistants usually have their emails embedded in their biographies. So we want to go ahead and click on this first assistant coach. Uh, we're going to, this bio opens up. You can learn more about the coach himself or herself, but boom, there you go. You got your email and you even got a phone number. A lot of times you don't get a phone number with schools. So this is a pretty cool school to that uh, is basically saying, hey, reach out to us. Let us know, you know who you are. So we want to copy this email, put it into a spreadsheet, okay? Create an Excel spreadsheet for yourself online or a Word document. Write down the school. So Abilene Christian University. Write down the coach's name that you're going to send the email to, Coach Craig Perry. Write his e copy and paste his email down and even put his phone number if they've got it, which they do. And then that way... You've got a list, you're creating a list, spend 30 minutes or an hour into this, into the uh, college search finder, go ahead and go through that same process, okay, find the school, find the athletic department, find the roster, find the assistant coach, find the, the email, and then go ahead and go back, and you're going to, uh, at this point, you're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down, and you're going to go ahead and start, you know, sending emails off. So that's how easy it is to use the college search page, okay? Find your schools, research them. Wikipedia, go into the school website, find your athletic site, find the college coaches, create your own Excel spreadsheet. It's a communication sheet, basically. Uh, if any of the coaches get back to you, invite you to camps, which is usually what happens, um, you know, that's really cool. Then go ahead and write those down. Uh, just keep notes of all your communication touch points. And you're going to save hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Plus, it's in your control. You're in control of getting your own job. That's what this whole thing's for. Send the athlete resume. It's like sending a resume to an employer. Send it out. Make sure that that, check your spelling on there. Get your validation links if you can. Add your other player pages to it. So it's one page, one stop that these coaches get a chance to see everything. You know, take advantage of the highlight video. You got four opportunities to put highlight videos in there. Um, add your metrics, your analytics, go to your local batting cages if you're in baseball or go to your volleyball uh, centers, get evaluated, do your testings, get your strength up, really build that resume up. Take some time with it. If it takes you 30 days, 45 days, great, do it. Because you wanna be able to send the best resume you can at that particular moment. And you can always update. So if you update three months later, you're strong again, go ahead and resend these, uh, these athlete resumes to these coaches again. Title the subject line, update to Todd Bly Levin's profile, whatever your name is, right? And then that way you go. Also too, if there's phone numbers on there, like it was like Coach Perry had, go ahead and give them a call and say, hey, uh, my name's Todd Bly, or your name. Uh, I'm the athlete. I go to this high school. Um, I've played varsity the last couple of years. I want to play college baseball or college whatever. This is what I'm doing. I've sent you over my athlete resume from the Scout Hub. Uh, do you have any camps or anything uh, coming up where I can come down and meet you? 
um, they're going to be so personable. Okay. They, they want to find the best recruits and the best people to attend their school.